What story are you going to tell us now? No, I mean, I'll get, what, what, what could anybody say in this position that, first of all, if anybody does anything long enough, they're going to accumulate numbers, whatever business you're in, okay? I've been fortunate to have decent health for all these years. And secondly, and more important, is it's a tribute to anybody that's been involved in the program as a player, as an assistant coach, as a volunteer coach, as a trainer, as an administrator, as a statistician, as a scorekeeper. Couldn't do it without, no, listen, none of us can do anything by ourselves. We all need help, and I've had a lot of it. I've had a lot of it, and I've been fortunate to have a lot of good players. There's one of them right there. So, I mean, I could list five or six different families that sent all their kids through here, and all their basketball players. Uh, I've been very fortunate, very, very fortunate. Did I think I'd ever get 800? Listen, when I first got hired, I was trying to win one. I was trying to win one, and here we are. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Now, looking back on 52 years, what stands out as big wins, notable oh. wins, things that, that, you know, it's a lot to choose from. Well, I mean, you can't take anything away from winning the state championship. I mean, this school's been there 21 times, second most in the state. Annapolis has been there more. And five times we had a chance to win it. Once lost in double overtime. That's the epitome. But I'll tell you the truth, and this sounds like a cliche, but it's the truth. What keeps me going is you take a group of kids, it's like 12, 13 individuals, and to just to say, the challenge to me is to, to see what you can do with them. In some years, they're not very good, and they fool you, and they really turn out good. In some years, you got what you think is a lot of talent, and it just doesn't work out. That's the challenge of it to me. That's what I really like. It's not hurt I went in 19 games either. <laughs> <laughs> you got to 100 tonight. Does that make it any more sweet? No, you know what? Uh, the Mardell, and I apologize to him. He said, Coach, I'm glad you did it. It was appropriate. I said, yeah, but that's not us. So we're not trying to run the score up on anybody. Anybody looks at that score, they'll say, well, they ran it up. Well, you saw in the first half. We played like Stinko. So <laughs> uh, we had a little chat at halftime, and they got the message, and we moved on. But it was a little too much of a show for the kids, I think. You know, let's do this. Let's go have a party. And oh, we don't have to play very good. But, you know, so it turned next, out all right. Who's next, Decatur here? Yeah, we play uh, Thursday. We have three more games. We play uh, Decatur Thursday, and then the following Tuesday, Ken Allen here. And then we go to Bennett. So for these guys, not for me necessarily, but for these guys, they've done so well. They've come so far. It wasn't expected from anybody. To win those like three games it would be a real something to remember all their life. Regardless of what happens after that, you know, to say, hey, you know, we went 22-0 in a tough league, in a tough league, but, you know, we could lose those three. Who knows?